Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I'm running VMware on my iMac, mm -hmm. and I noticed that when I run Windows XP with my OS X, OS X, it like really throttles my CPU. Is there any ways to like lower that or no? Uh, in the new version of VMware Fusion, which I, by the way, I had a coupon code for, hopefully, did you use it? Uh, no, I didn't use the coupon code, but... Dude, I could have yeah, saved I you know. money! I, I save people money on software all the time. All you gotta do is ask. <laughs> ask next time, dude. Seriously, ask. <laughs> oh, are you listening to the stream, or is that an echo? Let me go ahead. I, uh, I, I have a VMware... I just, uh, I just played the stream. Oh, okay. I've got uh, the latest version of VMware Fusion running here. And by the way, I have a coupon for Parallels, too. Uh, anybody can email me on either one of them. I'm looking right. at, the, like I said, the current version of uh, VMware Fusion, and they uh, removed one of the toggles that they used to have in it. But let me, uh, let me dig a little deeper, okay? See what I can find. Right. Um, applications, default apps, no. Do they have a VMware Fusion 3.0? Yeah, that's uh, hard disk buffering, preferred virtualization engine. Uh, let's see here. I'm, I'm consistently going back. Processors you've configured. Assumedly, you've configured for the amount of processors that you you have or the amount of RAM. Uh, you know, it's it's going to hit your CPU, of course, no matter what you do, because you're you're running something. Um, the question is, is what you can do to mitigate that. What are you, are you running a particular application inside of VMware Fusion that causes your CPU to spike? Like any kind of well, flash application which causes anything to spike? Well, I've just noticed that if I run games on my, um, my copy of XP on it, they like really throttle it. And well, I was just wondering if that's like bad for my computer or... It's not bad for you. It's, your, it's, it's out, your CPU. But... I mean, no, it's it's not bad for your computer. I mean, let me put it to you this way. I've got a, a live video feed that's throttling my CPU on the Mac Mini that's running 24 hours a day. I, I've had one, I've had the Mac Mini doing that for, like, three years straight, and the computer works just fine. Um, yeah, the screen looks amazing. They know it, it, I mean, it could be better, of course, but, you know, I'm throttled by other uh, factors beyond the actual uh, hardware. Well, if you're asking if the CPU is being throttled because your games... Okay, not to be flip about it, but duh. Yeah. I mean, I, I with all respect, I mean, it's it's just going to happen. I mean, it would happen with XP, you know, outright. It's just you're not usually sitting there uh, monitoring uh, your your CPU levels on XP necessarily. And of course, then you're also yeah. running directly through a, a virtual machine, which of course is going to have some amount of overhead. Um, in, huh. in terms of mitigating that. I, I don't know if it's necessarily possible to do. I think uh, VMware Fusion 3.0, the latest version, handles a lot of that automatically, which is good news. Uh, the only other thing I could think of is possibly uh, playing around with uh, in the settings for the virtual machine under advanced other, checking out the hard disk buffering, having it handle you know automatic uh, preferred virtualization engine. You know you may want to mess around with that and see if that's going to change. Uh, what you have, uh, you know, running in terms of, uh, you know, your CPU speed or, you know, what's being taken up in terms of uh, processes and power. Um, huh. It's usually best to save uh, as automatic in these particular settings. Uh, but, you know, I would I would say that to anybody. I, I think you're, the issue is more the game being CPU intensive rather than uh, being able to kind of manage that or mitigate it uh, within the virtual machine. There's no way around okay. that, dude. I mean, a game's going to take CPU. Games are usually yeah. very CPU yeah. intensive, or can be, certainly. And with the good ones. VMware Fusion, it's just... Well, what about, you know, well, what you can do if you really want to play games, uh, you know, full screen and whatnot, uh, why not just, you know, boot uh, through Boot Camp? I mean, if it's XP, it's supported in Boot Camp. Uh, just boot directly yeah. and then basically turn your Mac into a PC. You know, run Windows out, I, right? Forget I, OS X. I did try that with Boot Camp. And once I did it, like, I partitioned it, and then it said, like, I couldn't partition it because I had files spread all across my hard drive. That's, well, then, you may want to run Disk Utility in Mac OS X. Uh, I, I, yeah, I, I tried that, too. I don't know about the, the fragmentation. OS X handles it differently than Windows. Um, I, I would, I, not to say that that's an issue. You may want to 
uh, connect to a genius bar, the Apple store, give them a call, drop them a line, post on the Apple discussion forums. Um, yeah, I was get looking an around and it said that on the most like forums that I read, that it's like I have to reinstall the OS on my system and then before I do anything, I should like install XP as a second OS. So. Oh, right, through boot camp, certainly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's right, possible. Uh, you know, it's, 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 Thanks. Yeah, no problem. I love your show. Oh, thank you. All right, bye. No, no need to be sorry.